Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Lucas and today I want to basically go through a few of my favorite checkout pages, um, you know, product checkout pages um, in the e-commerce world. Now, since Framer, I mean, there's a, there's a few cool Framer plugins coming out like Frameship, Frameshop. I mean, there's always been Framer off for the past year, I think. Um, but these these tools basically help us not only build landing pages, amazing landing pages in Framer, but also build e-commerce solutions, um, help us start selling something, creating a business, helping others selling something online. So yeah, today I just wanted to basically walk through a few few of my, um, my I would say my top three product pages that I would say can be totally built in Framer um, and can be built without any code and can be integrated with uh, dynamic CMS, whether you bring your products from Stripe or whether you bring your products from Shopify, if they're like, you know, physical products, or whether you want to do like some type of lemon squeezy um, integration with a user authentication. These are different, you know, product pages that can totally be built in Framer. So the first one is this one, it's this eight sleep. So as you can see here, they have three different types of payment options on the top. And then they have three different types of products. And you can see the image changes um, for each product, right? Which is, it's, it's a beautiful design. So for each image, there's a new product. Each one of these can be um, like its own, uh, its own uh, component with a hover and then with a selected variant. And then with a hover of the selected variant, this would be, I mean, a button that you would just create with the hover effect. Then as you can see the image changes, this can be its own scroll section where you have the fool, the queen. So every time you select this, this particular image would change. So it's basically think of it like a mega component with different variants based on the selectors, right? Um, and then you have different things here you can add like a standard autopilot or a enhanced one with a warranty. So the design is, is amazing. And, and yeah, I actually tried building this in Framer today. Um, I didn't get too far. <laughs> I, I, it's, I spent about an hour on it. I brought a few screenshots and, and this is like something that I'm still working on, but but basically you have like a different selectors. Again, this took me just an hour to build. So um, if you guys are interested in, in, in having this little demo, you let me know. So going back here, this is one of the sites that I would think is totally, you know, buildable in, in Framer. Not only that, but once you're done with the sticky scroll animation, uh, uh, sticky scroll section, um, you come down here. This is obviously, I mean, the content is really nice. I have to say, but this bento grid totally possible. I've done a YouTube video on this before. And then you have like these different selectors also, um, completely possible, but it's just a beautiful design. So this is the first one. This is eight sleep. And the second one that I really like is from AG one, uh, at first glance, it looks very, very simple, but you have this hero section. And once you click on here, you can, um, click on two routes, right? So you have route one or route two, which is the pouch or the travel packs. And then for the pouch, you have this image for the travel packs, you have this image. And then you have like this kind of type form, type form esque um, design where you have step one of two, and then you click on next, then you have step two of two, and then you can actually go to the checkout. So this is something that can be totally doable with Framer and with a tool like Framer Forms. So you can create like a, like a multi-step form with Framer Forms. I'll have the link in the description below. And um, you can link that Framer Form with, let's say Shopify, for example, if you have your physical products in Shopify, or you can actually make this with digital products and link it to something like Lemon Squeezy or Stripe. Um, so this is another interesting, you know, product page uh, for, a, so this is like for a specific subscription product. And I thought it was pretty cool to share and see what you guys think. And again, I totally think you can do this completely without any code using Framer. 
And then uh, the final one is, uh, with, is the Tesla configurator. So basically I would scroll up, you have different images from the different perspectives of the vehicle. Then on the right, on the right side here, you basically have um, its main uh, features. So the, 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 the range for the charging. So after you charge, you have around 363 miles, 125 miles per hour, max speed and 4.9 seconds from zero to 60. And then you have, again, just like in, in eight sleep, you have like this little configurator on, uh, down here, cash, lease, finance. So for the cash, you have different, different options. And as you can see, the image actually changes for this particular option. And for the lease, I mean, it stays the same, but the price changes, right? And then down here, you have a few, you know, buttons that you can just link internally or externally to another page. You have a little checkbox here that actually affects the pricing. And you scroll down here and then you have different colors that would affect again, the image. And you have different selectors as well. And as you can see, I went up and the image kind of changed to an interior as I clicked on this. So this can also be done with a scroll section in Framer. And then again, another scroll section scrolling down to this full self-driving supervised, supervised. So basically it's like it's in beta version, I guess, but you can click on that and then that would affect the, the total leasing of the, of the price or the total price of the leasing. And then you can just add some, some extra accessories. And again, the image changes, right? This would be kind of like a fetch API that you can integrate in Framer. Um, all, again, um, mostly this would be, I guess we can do without any coding. It would just be a very, it would be a heck of a component, um, to build like this mega component for this, for this specific section. So, um, let me know what you guys think about these three, which one is your favorite? And I can build something similar to this. I was thinking of doing something like this very soon, like the AG1. So basically like combining it with framer forms and adding a checkout at the end connected to Shopify. So if you think that's a cool idea, please let me know and I'll make a video on that very soon. Other than that, uh, thank you guys for, for tuning in. Um, if you have any more questions, let me know. And yeah, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.